Floyd Kid Austin Schofield, ladies and gentlemen, improved his record to 14 and 0, no losses, no draws, 11 violent wins. By the way, a knockout. He put down Jesus Valentin Leon in the second round, ladies and gentlemen. He made really just easy work of him. It was pretty much a master classmanship of Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. Uh, you clearly noticed right away that Mr. Valentin Leon had no business in the ring with Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. The power, the speed, just everything, the athleticism. You just seen that it is just a, at a completely different level, you know, compared to what Mr. Jesus was bringing to the table. Floyd Kid Austin Schofield looked like he was just ready for war. You know, he, he listen, to be honest with you, he was ready to go for another couple more rounds. He was ready to go the distance, to be honest with you. And now you, Mr. Valentin Leon just couldn't hold up. You noticed right away if he was monitoring this fight in the first round because he put him down before the first round ended. Uh, Kid Austin was catching in the body up top. I mean, it was just really, you seen right away that Jesus was in trouble. And I was like, is he going to be able to make it out the first round even after he was dropped? Kid Austin was really taking his time early, just relaxing. Not I, not necessarily relaxing, but you know what I'm going with this. Kid Austin was taking his time. He wasn't allowing himself to be rushed. You know, the young man, Jesus, you know, he, he was trying to uh, he was trying to bring it in, you know, bring pressure. He wasn't staying completely out of it. To be honest with you, he was just walking right into Kid Austin, you know, and that's what made it, things even worse for him, you know. And then you've seen it at the uh, second round when it was a stoppage. He was just walking right into him and he walked into a two piece and. It was over. Kid Austin, that jab, you know, just got it. You know, if you really got him, if you really seen the last part of that fight, Kid Austin's jab connected into those to those knockout punches, those violent hits, man. I'm telling you, he was no way he was going to be able to recover from that. And you seen him out on the on the canvas. He was out cold, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, somebody he needed serious help and attention. Kid Austin put him on his back and sent a clear message to everybody. The 135 division is getting shooken up, ladies and gentlemen. And Floyd Kid Austin Schofield's name is getting rise to the top. And there's nothing nobody's going to be able to do about it. He's stockpiling these victories. And I'm telling you, Oscar De La Hoya has a true gem on his hands. And everybody knows this. And every in every promotion, whether you at top rank, whether you at Golden Boy, whether you at Mayweather Promotions, wherever the hell, you know, you know very well what's going on. You know, um, with, with Kid Austin at 135 is, is going to be a new man at the top. And he's still young, you know, and that's another thing. And I noticed right away, because if you notice some of the other fighters he was fighting, they were a little older. He fought a guy who was close in age with him, and he put him down like fool's gold, you know. So it was almost like, who do you put him in the ring with? You know, these guys are just clearly, you know, just not on his level. So Kid Austin, I, I would think the next fight, he will receive a fighter that is not if either at his level or, you know, right there. So it is going to be interesting to see, you know, as his professional career continues to progress and he gets bigger and bigger fights with Golden Boy Promotions. You see him a part of this mega card, ladies and gentlemen, with obviously Javante Tank Davis undefeated and King Ryan Garcia to see. You know, Kid Austin, a part of this weekend, is just definitely tremendous because I know how much work that he's put in his father, FS Promotions. You know, and everybody's down there, you know, holding it down for Kid Austin, whether you were, were able to make it, whether, you know, wherever you are in the world, you know, Kid Austin's, you know, base always supports him to the fullest. And that's one thing I, we got to credit each other, you know, when it's time to support Kid Austin, everybody comes to the table and does that thing. So definitely support him. I would thank everybody for supporting the champ and have flight sports. We're going to do what we do best. And we will monitor his next opponent in the next bout. Possibly we should hear news and rumors coming up sooner than later. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss one beat of the coverage. Follow FS Promotions, uh, Kid Austin 1 on Instagram. You know, Kid Austin delivers a lot of news. <clears throat> This fight against Jesus Valentin Leon was held uh, before the preliminary fights, you know. So 
And that's what I'm saying. It was definitely if you, it was definitely a, a hard catch if you didn't make it. You had to really get some exclusivity. But the fight was definitely in the building. Definitely the heat up was going on. You know, with with Kid Austin, and definitely heat up. Everything was going on with the main event that everybody is just clamoring for. You know, so this has just been an unbelievable weekend for boxing. You know, boxing is in a special place. You know, people say boxing is this, boxing is that. It's hard pressed to say any of that after the weekend that we just seen. This is a big fight. You know, this is this is like this fight could have been held at a stadium, you know, to be honest with you. The 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 fact that, that it was held at, at an irregular arena, I think it didn't serve it justice. With these kind of bouts, they gotta go to the stadium. You know, whether where is that they should have went to the Legion Stadium. I I mean I I believe they would have sold it out. You know, and I think y'all let me know in the comments section as well. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Kid Austin's journey will continue. You obviously didn't see the issues that he dealt with in this previous fight against Alberto Marciato. Against Marciato, obviously, the feet was a problem. The blisters, you've seen Kid Austin had complete mobility tonight against Jesus, and which led to his outclassmanship and him getting dropped to the canvas in knockout dramatic fashion. So... Kid Austin, man, he's just all out dominating. Keyshawn Davis, I know he was out there. He's been out there for the weekend. You know, some of your favorite uh, fighters, you know, uh, are hanging around, you know, this weekend. You know, whether they was at the weigh-in, I seen a lot of guys, you know, that was there. And I'm, I guarantee you, you had a couple of these guys looking to see what the hell is going on with Floyd, Kid Austin, Schofield. And I'm here to tell you, the only thing that's going on is a whole lot of winning. And, and it will continue, you know, a lot more belts, you know, to get stockpiled. And it's, it's nothing that no, no fighters can do about it to stop what's happening. You know, 14 and 0, ladies and gentlemen, no losses, no draws after his dominating win over Jesus, which Jesus had no business in the ring with Kid Austin. You know, Floyd, his a knockout record improves to 11, you know, and it will continue. You know, the undefeated streak will reign supreme. He works too hard, you know, in true dedication. And with this kind of fight, you know, I, I could see him fighting four, two more times this year. Kid Austin can get right back in the gym tomorrow if he wanted to, which I guarantee you, it won't be long before Kid Austin's back working out in the gym training, you know, again, just, just working out and getting his body in, in shape. That's something that, you know, I, I see that he takes true pride in. You know, making sure that he's in the best shape and his father as well. You know, he doesn't get enough credit for that. The discipline, you know, his flight sports TV. Kid Austin in two rounds puts down Jesus Valentin Leon and successfully defends his ch championship, his flight sports TV.